Hi there, I am Laura McIntyre. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at a company called Acceloware. We are a clean tech company working on our first commercial pilot in 2021. I first off want to acknowledge the traditional territories and the oral practices of the Blackfoot Nations, which includes the Sisika, Pekani, and Kayani, which also acknowledge the Tusina and Stony and Dakota First Nations and Métis Nation and all people who make their homes in the Treaty 7 region of Southern Alberta. So at Acceloware, there's lots of exciting things going on right now. As I mentioned, we are working on our first commercial pilot this year. With our technology, there is a significant opportunity for our industry and major operators. Imagine an asset without requiring water injection. From a process standpoint, no water usage is required. We would reduce the amount of fuel gas. You would lower your footprint, reduce emissions, eliminate water treatment, and reduce capex and opex. Those are huge milestones and significant savings for many operators out there. So we like to call it the domino effect. And ultimately, from an investor standpoint, government standpoint, and just global view on how our Alberta natural resources are being processed, there's a huge opportunity. So you, you may not be familiar what RFXL is. So what we essentially are is an underground microwave. Instead of requiring steam injection, we translate the electromagnetic energy to the subsurface reservoir. It's not a new concept to use RF energy. It's been around for over 50 years. So what we've been able to do is develop a design that allows for longer transmission arms, which means longer well length, opposed to the standard antennas that you would see in, in some of the RF applications for oil field. And we have a high efficiency, high power surface unit, which will be able to translate any source of power, be it from the grid, solar, you name it. There's lots of opportunity to translate energy into the subsurface. What happens with our process is we are injecting this energy into the ground. The radio frequency will seek out the water molecules and will convert those into steam. It will mobilize the oil and will drain to the lower producer. Our design is analogous to a standard SAG-D well pair. So you have your upper wells and then your lower producer well roughly five meters below. The majority of our design is standard oil field components such as wellheads, thermocouples, we use all the industry approved casing. Um, where it's unique is looking at the arms that actually extend from the surface down to the toe of the well. The producer will be your standard design as well. We are using wire wrap scream in our pilot, for example. The most important piece of our design technically is the surface inverter. It was developed in a partnership with GE Global Research. As I mentioned, it's high power, high efficiency, and it's our proprietary design. And it's what makes RFXL so effective. You'll notice in our design, we have a smaller footprint. The unit resides in an MCC building that is roughly 10 feet by 15 feet. We also require less treatment on surface because we don't inject water and we produce less water. The strength of RFXL and our company is in our partnerships. We're backed by a few major oil sands operators within Alberta, providing knowledge and expertise in our design. I've been working closely with a couple of them over the past few years, and they've been a huge assistance in further de-risking our design. Further to all the benefits of our technology, our project is so important to Alberta, both government and industry from an economic sustainability, five-year profitability, and also just in terms of demand, new technologies are required in order for industry to progress. So time is of the essence more than ever for responsible development of our natural resources. Thank you for your time. And if you have any questions for me, do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you.